Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is another new Unify product. Just when you thought that Ubiquity had done enough when they gave us the UXG Lite, now they are giving us the Unify Express. Comes in a little bit of a different package than the UXG Lite, but I think you're going to find this device as interesting as I did. So I want to thank Ubiquity uh, for sending this out. And what I've got here, this is the Unify Express. This is the UXG Lite. So they are the exact same physical dimensions. But you're going to notice on this Express, it's got an LCD screen. If you turn it this way, it's probably the same size LCD screen that's in the UDR. I'm just saying the engineers over there, They've been pumping out some stuff. Now you're thinking, okay, Ubiquity gave us the UXG Lite. What's so great about the Unify Express? Well, the Unify Express, it's, it's a gateway of a different color because this can be a standalone gateway. It also has Wi-Fi built in, Wi-Fi 6, 2x2 two two on this. You can run this standalone, like a, like a UDR, right? It's got a controller built inside of it. But guess what? If you don't want to run it standalone, you can adopt this to other Unify OS consoles and then use these as mesh points throughout the network. So we're going to do two things with this. The first thing we're do, going to do is we're going to plug it in and we're going to take a look at it. We're going to set it up. And uh, then we're going to take it and we are going to join it to the UDR. So give me just a minute. Uh, well, actually, before I get this uh, plugged in, what else is in the box? You get uh, uh, a QR code to, uh, to scan. You get that same USB-C. And then you get a Unify patch cable. So don't forget... Not only does it have the little screen on the front, USB-C power on the back, one gigabit LAN WAN reset button. <laughs> I mean, if I turned them around, you couldn't tell the difference, right? So I'm going to actually have to keep, I'm gonna have to keep the UXG light out of the way. Otherwise, I'm going to get confused. So let's get this plugged in and let's take a look. We'll be right back. All right. So what I've got is I've got my WAN cable plugged in. I'm going to plug in the power and we are going to watch this thing. We're going to watch this boot together. There it is. It's even, uh, it's got, it must have a newer firmware. It's got the new U logo. So it's going to go ahead and boot and we'll see what's going to happen. And then we'll plug uh, my PC into the back of it and uh, we'll take a look. So they did actually send me two of these. So the other, we'll set this one up standalone and then we'll adopt the other one. So we're going to wait for the LCM there to give us the go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this and we'll be right back. And as soon as I said that, now we've got the thing that says download the app. So this does have Bluetooth built into it. It is not touch uh, sensitive there. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, plug my PC in and, uh, we'll see what the heck is uh, going on. Okay. So we've got my PC plugged in. I got a 192.168 address. So I went to 192.168.1.1. 1 .1, and now we've got this screen that says Unify Express booting. Please wait up to five minutes as your console, uh, prepares for setup. And I did notice that there is on the front on the LCM, which is full color, by the way, there's a little progress bar that has started going across there. So we're going to wait uh, a few minutes and see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, so that did not take five minutes. Did not take five minutes. But I'm, I'm glad that they give you that kind of time. So Ubiquity is committed to securing your data and protecting your privacy. Set up the Unify Express. All right, so we're going to get a name, and I'm going to call this... Um, WH Unify Express 1. And we're going to agree to the terms and go next. Now, this is the same thing that we've seen presented uh, previously. 
where we can uh, bind this to UI.com or we can set it up without a UI.com account. I want mine joined to UI.com, so I'm going to do that real quick. All right, we're just going to put in our super secret OTP. And I was going to continue without a backup because it found other unified network application backups. And uh, I don't know if you can see this or not. Let's see if I can get this to focus on that little screen. So it's got a nice little little setup thing going on there. All right, so back to the, uh, the business. We're just going to call this one Willie's Wi-Fi Network. And we're going to click Finish. And now it's going to go ahead and finish setting up uh, Unify OS. Says it's got about five minutes. We're going to let it run through this, and we will be right back. All right, so here we are. This is the main screen. It popped right over here. I'm going to, of course, uncheck the auto update. You know me. Uh, we've got our we've got our admin screen as always. We've got our Unify devices, so I don't have any other devices adopted to it. Here's our uh, console settings. So this is all all very familiar. Uh, and then we've got about this console, so you can see it's a Unify Express. It does have a gig of RAM, 10 gigs of internal storage. Is running Unify OS 3.1.26, and also it is running Unify 7.4.162. So I would expect here at some point for this to prompt us for an update. Let's see what happens here. Not yet. I'm sure once it checks in, it'll prompt us to update. Um, and so I'm going to bring this back up full screen so that you can see that LCM screen has got all that cool, quick diagnostic information uh, like the UDR has, like how many clients are connected, speed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open network. And we'll give it a second here. Ah, there's our. we're going to go ahead and update this. So let's go back to our settings. We've got update queued. So this thing's going to go ahead and update up to uh, 8.0.7. So let's let this update, and then we will be... Uh, oh, real quick, before we do that, I just noticed that the Unify OS says Unify Express 3.1.26. Pretty cool. So we're going to let this update Unify, and we will be right back. So uh, this update is almost done. It's been just a minute, uh, and... I am going to leave affiliate links, and I do make a small commission off of those. I'm going to leave affiliate links for the Unify Express, the UXG Lite, the UDM, all the Unify OS uh, consoles down below. So if you want to pick them up, if you've been looking at them, get your eye on them, you can go ahead and pick those up. You don't have to use the affiliate links, but it is definitely uh, appreciated. We're going to finish this update, and we'll be right back. All right, so our network is updated, so let's launch this and take a look around this device real quick. And you'll notice that we have the full meal deal over here. No Wi-Fi only because, um, I mean, this has a, you know, has a switch port. It has Wi-Fi. It has all of the things. So right away, we've got our traffic identification running. So let's come in here to settings. And you can see we've got Willie's Wi-Fi network. We can come in here. Now, this uh, device does not have 6 gigahertz. It doesn't have the 6E. However, it's built It's built into the software, so if and when they release a device that has that, that will be available. We can do private pre-shared keys. We can do hotspot portal. We can do device isolation. This is a full Unify OS console with Wi-Fi with... The, it's the whole kit and caboodle, the whole shooting match, right? It's it's like a, a very much smaller UDR. And uh, the rumored MSRP on this is 149 USDs. So uh, we can create our, our Wi-Fi. We're going to leave. We didn't do anything there. We can come in here. We can create our networks. This is literally just like other Unify OS consoles. 
here. Oh, look at this. Teleport is disabled by default, but we can still set up our VPN server. We can still do VPN client. We can still do site-to-site -site VPN. So this is like a UXG light with Wi-Fi. It's, it's, it's the full thing. It's, it's really an amazing device. We've got all the security. So we can do our country restrictions. We can do our ad blocking. We can create our traffic rules. I mean, just because it's, it's tiny doesn't mean it's not mighty, right? We've still got all of our routing. We have all of the things that we're used to with the larger Unify OS consoles. But this takes it one step further. Now, I will tell you that uh, they also recommend you only put about 60 clients on one of these. So this would probably work really nice for an apartment. And you get a couple of these, right? And you plug them in. And uh, then, they, then they just work, right? <laughs> so I can adopt another one to this via Mesh. Or I can adopt the other one to my UDR, which is what I'm going to do. But you have, here you have it, full, full Unify gateway right here with Wi-Fi. You could put this thing in your apartment, put it in a, a small house. It's going to, you know, cover probably 600 square feet, maybe 1,000 square feet, uh, maybe less. But, I mean, if you don't have 60 devices and you're not doing a lot of intense stuff, this gateway... This could work for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this. I'm going to grab the other unit. We're going to plug it in. We're going to adopt it to the UDR. We will be right back. All right, so I have the second unit plugged in. It is a booting, and as soon as it is uh, ready for adoption, we will get this show on the road. Okay, so I, uh, I literally plugged in. This is how it's plugged in. Power and LAN. LAN goes to a switch which is connected to my UDR and express shows up automatically for adoption. So we're going to go ahead and adopt that. And what the theory is, is this thing is going to go ahead and it is going to take all of the settings of the Wi-Fi that we have from my production UDR environment. So we're going to let this thing adopt. It looks like it's up to date. It is adopting. But it's, uh, it's doing something on the screen, so I'm sure it's actually updating software. We will uh, let this do this, its thing, and we will be right back. All right, so here we are. The Express is now adopted into my UDR, and if we bring it up, we can see here we are. We've got our uh, 2 gigahertz and our 5 gigahertz radio. They're both 2x2, two two, both Wi-Fi 6. We can come down here, take a look at our air stats. We've got our parent device. It is part of the... All APs, which is my default uh, group. We can take a look at the insights, and we can come in here and we can change the settings. So now it is acting just as uh, another AP that uh, is pretty aesthetically pleasing. Now, if you don't want to hardwire it, you can have several of these units together. You can have a main unit that's got internet, and you can mesh two and three other units. Just remember, you know, when you mesh, um, you know, when you mesh your uh, Wi-Fi, there is sometimes a slowdown. If it's wireless uplink, if you don't have a, med a dedicated mesh radio, you are going to take a huge uh, performance decrease. But yeah, Unify Express, uh, I'll leave affiliate links to these below. I think these things, uh, I think these things are going to be hot, hot, hot. I mean, I can see small offices going with just this and then maybe one of these. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Thanks again to Ubiquity for sending this out. You uh, saw our three options, standalone, adopted to a Unify OS console, or then you, know, you can have one of these being the leader and meshes coming off of those. So Ubiquity coming out with the products, they are, they are rolling through them. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And if you like it, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links for a Unify OS devices, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, you need to get your network checked out, get a tune up, voice over IP, security, storage, all those things. Head on over to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. 
Once again, I'm Willie. Go check out the Unify Express. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.